Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is seven ways to stay creative. And because of the pandemic, I've kind of been in a lull with my creativity. So this one is as much for me as it is for you. So seven steps on how to stay creative. Number one is dream. And what are your dreams? Where do you want to go to photograph birds? What birds do you want to photograph? Think about those kinds of things and then push your boundaries a little bit and open things up by dreaming. If money and time weren't an option, what kind of bird photography would you be doing? Where would you go? And then look at that, the big picture like that, the big dreams, and then scale that back to a national level, a state level, a county level, and a city level so that you can build your skills as you go along there. You know, dreaming helps us stay creative. So number two is do something completely different. Get outside of your normal box. If you always go to one location to photograph birds, go to a different location, photograph different birds. And then step number three is focus. And focus on one bird and tell the story of that whole bird. Or focus on one location and tell the story of birds in that location. Kind of focus and pick a topic and get really creative and dive deep into that subject or location. And I think that will help us become more creative because it will force us to look at that bird or that location in different ways. And that's what this is all about. So those are big ideas. Dream, do something you've never done before, and then focus. Those are those are all big picture things. But how do we do this? The rest of these four, five, six, seven are ideas on how we can do this. So number four, or the number one on how we can do things is start small. Start in your backyard or your local city parks or your county parks or your state parks. And as this pandemic thing unfolds and we get more space open up to us and we can travel a little bit more, you know, you can extend your reach out into locations. But you might for right now, if you're really struggling with creativity, find one bird that comes to your backyard and try to photograph that one bird as much as possible. Or photograph all the birds in your backyard and just really give yourself something to focus on. Number five is plan it. And if you want to do one bird, learn as much about that bird species as possible so you're able to anticipate its movements and you'll know more about it and you can talk about that when you're um, making your pictures and you'll just you'll just have a better time and you'll get better photos and then if it's a location do some research and find out when the migrations are coming through there so if you're at the ocean you know there's a spring and a fall migration I just learned this yesterday. At the end of September, early October, a thousand plus sandhill cranes will migrate into Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. So I marked that on my calendars. That could be a good place for me to go at the end of September or early October. And so I'm gonna plan on focusing on some sandhill cranes in early fall. And I think that'll be a great trip. And then number six is repetition. And you've heard me say this in just about every other video that I do. It's like. Practice gets us to master our camera gear. Practice, practice, practice. And I think this is still true in being creative. The more we practice, the more we can use our camera better. The more we practice with post-processing, the better we get at it. The more that we go out in the field and practice our field techniques, the better we get at it. We learn how close we can get with certain species and things like that. And then step number seven is tell your friends about this so you're accountable to it. You know, tell your friends that you're trying to be more creative and you're going through this uh, seven step process and you want to be more creative. And so by telling people, it will hold you more accountable. You're much more likely to get up early and get that morning light or chase that one bird down that you're focusing on. And have fun with this. For me personally, I take photography too seriously. I need to be open to just uh, relaxing and having more fun with photography. So have fun with it, relax, be open, and I think we'll be more creative. If you want to learn more about bird photography and you want to take better bird images, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future tutorials. And remember, if you want to learn even more about bird photography, pick up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and trade paperback. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.